Hello and welcome to Menno Minis. This season we are going to do things just a little bit differently and when I get home from my workouts I'm going to jump on here and I'm going to tell you what I did. I mean you know as far as what exercises I did and why I did them whatever. So my name is Denise Willick Peterson. I've been a certified personal trainer for the last almost 20 years and I've been a certified hormone specialist for the last seven, eight, nine, ten. I can't remember. So um, I am strict up, I am straight up perimenopause. Um, if that helps you uh, know why things go on. Um, and just so you know, as I talk through these things, if you haven't heard my, my spiel before, the user cycle method can be used for regular cycling women, perimenopausal women, and menopause women. And in several different podcasts, I talk about how you can um, use your cycle if you are post-menopause, so if you are not having a period any longer. So I'm not going to jump into that today, but I'm sure there'll be an upcoming episode on it very, very soon. All right. So today, I am mid-luteal phase, mid-progesterone phase. So I'm kind of between week three and four, okay? if that helps you to get some context, or no, it will help you get some context on where we are. So mid-luteal phase, luteal phase, energy starts to wane. Recovery, meh, is not great. Uh, strength is not great. Woo-woo-woo is not huge great, right? So usually between weeks three and four, our energy really starts to drop. And it actually is counterproductive to lift really heavy weights, okay? So I like to keep in the habit of going to the gym because I have found for myself that if I take the two weeks off and do things at home, it's harder for me to go back to the gym, right? So I like to make the workouts nice and light, but at least keep going to the gym, especially this time of year when it's starting to get cold. And quite honestly, I am a homebody. I'm just as soon not go outside. So all of that being said, in your progesterone phase, especially the late progesterone phase, we are going to lift lightish weights. We're shooting for 12 to 15 repetitions. We're still doing the same four legs, chest, back, and beauty parts. Um, Four rounds. Like I said, 12 to 15 repetitions. Don't be getting all fancy, right? The basics work because the basics work, okay? So today I went into the gym. I always do a warm-up. I like the rowing machine just because it warms up both the lower and upper half of the body. But you do you. Remember, your car's going to blow up in 30 minutes, in and out. So let's be efficient. Before I got out of my car, I hit my playlist, head it on in. I do one song on the rowing machine, three to four minutes, right? I knew that legs was going to be a squat, chest was a chest press, back, I did, I chose to do deadlifts, and my beauty part, I ended up splitting my beauty part, so I did two rounds with bicep curls and two rounds with shoulder presses, just because I've got some weird stuff going on on my wrist and my elbow, so I was finding that the bicep curls were really bothering that, so I switched it up to a shoulder press. So that's a, an important part there to realize that if something hurts, don't do it, right? Um, no sense in further injuring yourself, okay? So if it hurts, just stop. Pick a different exercise or maybe you stop altogether, okay? So again, mid-progesterone phase, I chose to go light. I chose the same weight all the way through. Kind of it was just a almost like a marking workout as far as it got me to the gym. I moved some weight, but it wasn't designed to build muscle necessarily, right? So 15 repetitions. Squat was my legs, chest was a chest press, back was a deadlift, and then beauty, I did two rounds of bicep curls and then two rounds of overhead shoulder presses, okay? Now, you might be asking, wait a minute, what do you mean it's you're not going to gain a lot of muscle? Okay, so first of all, at 15 reps, you're not going to gain a lot of muscle. But also in the progesterone phase, we want to lean more toward recovery. In our 28-day monthly cycle, 
we are going to get more benefit from resting or from doing recovery style workouts than we are doing heavy lifting workouts, right? When we use our cycle to, to plan our workouts, what you want to do during the progesterone phase is schedule recovery style workouts, stretching, foam rolling, light, light weights, like just moving through it, right? And I know this goes a lot against traditional, oh my gosh, you've got to lift heavy all, you know, twice a week, every week. Blah, blah, blah. No, that's men's cycle. Men have a daily cycle, remember? Women have a 28 day cycle. And when you lean into that and use it, the superpower around working out, right, is that you only lift, have to lift hard and heavy during the estrogen phase. But during the luteal phase or the progesterone phase, that's when we get to um, recover. We just get to spend the time recovering. Now, sometimes for me, that looks like some yoga. Sometimes that looks like foam roller, right? Sometimes it's just straight up stretching. Sometimes it's the workout that I just described to you that I did today, right? And it depends further on into the progesterone phase as I get closer to my period. It's going to be more yoga and foam rolling, right? You might also choose just to schedule your massage. And what I find when I tell women that is that your workout, your massage is your workout that week, your fourth week of your cycle. They kind of get freaked out and a little bit confused because they're like, I'm just, I'm just getting a massage. I'm just laying here. Exactly. That is your superpower. That is the recovery part of your workout, the recovery part of your month, right? So remember, you just need to track because then as you move in from, from um, week four, right, you're, you're getting a massage and then you get your period and you start week one, I'm not saying right away on day one or two, you're going to jump into a super heavy workout. But then as you get your period and your estrogen levels boost and your energy boosts and your testosterone starts to boost a little bit, that's when we start getting the heavy workouts and we work out heavy for a couple weeks. Okay. So bear with me over the next you know, season, we're going to go through the workouts that I do just as part of it, you know, so there's going to be other um, podcasts in here too, right? I'm not just going to tell you what my workout was, but I am going to tell you about what my workouts. You can decide if that's when you want to listen to or not, or pass it on to the friend that just needs workout ideas. That would be amazing, right? All right. You have an amazing afternoon. I look forward to telling you about my next workout probably over the weekend and probably closer to yoga. Have a fantastic day. Hitting that button.